Well hey there everybody, welcome back to another video. In this one, as you see, I'll be doing a quick showcase on this little diorama that I made, mostly out of styrofoam and uh, some plaster and other things, and I'll get to that in just a second. Now this forklift right here was this kit right here from Fujumi. And it's actually a uh, 132 scale right there it was a pretty pretty easy kit there was not very many parts to it as you see it's quite small but I'm gonna show you the uh, little diorama that I made here using this kit so as you see here I have the forklift going off of a shipment docking area I meant to have the forklift a little bit scuffed up and looks like it has been you know banged around a little bit you see it kind of scuffed up a little bit now I have it uh, set in place it's glued in place so it won't fall from how it's setting I'm gonna go over a few things what I how I made this and show some little details point them out so starting off obviously I, I built the forklift and put it going off of the uh, shipment docking area here up under it you see a piece of wood these are actual nails here there's one there one on that side that runs up under there that is where the trucks back up and uh, you know that forklift will load things up on the truck these here is uh, made out of uh, plastic sprues I got one on each side as you see they're kind of weathered as well if you look very closely this is grass actual real grass from outside this around those poles I have a few pieces of trash and litter here and up against the wall there this here is listen hard as a rock I actually use uh, star foam the very dense kind uh, cut this out shaped it and then this up here is the same material and what I done was once I got it glued into place I took some tile grout or kind of like cement really and put a, a layer on here this back wall and up here as well and then once that dried, then I painted it. See down here is a, um, a lighter color than up here. Here we have a drain, again with some trash. The drain uh, was all scratch made as well. And if you see this drain, look right here. Let's see if I turn the light right there is like the drainage pipe kind of like if the sink was cut in half there's the uh, pipe that goes into there now this um, pallet here actually came in the kit with the uh, forklifts so that did come in the box I just had to paint it and assemble it I put those little uh, nails in there now, if you look closely, you see the electrical um, pipe, I guess you call it, that runs along the wall there. That's made out of a coat hanger. And if you look at the uh, green and the red wires, it's supposed to be like the electrical wires sticking out. I got that on both sides. You see there. 
Now, looking at this, I'm going to show you the, like the size. I got pretty big hands, but uh, this is about the size of it here. So, it's not really that big. Now, up here, this box here also came the kit, but it was just flat. Uh, it came with two of those. It was flat, and you had to fold it and, and shape it. But that actually did come in the kit. Um, there is a, uh, pallet that it's sitting on. I actually made that one, uh, out of wood. It's sitting on a pallet there. I made that one out of wood. I just got that sitting on there. Uh, this here is from Hobby Lobby. If you look in Hobby Lobby where the, uh, dollhouses are, You'll find a pack of these. There's three in a pack, and this is just one of them. Thought that was nice, nice little touch. Uh, on this box, I put saran wrap around it because, you know, for the ones that know um, how the shipment areas are, how how it all works out, you might see it. In movies or whatever but that's actually how they come in factories the wrapped in saran wrap now this uh, clipboard I scratch made it myself as well only took a few minutes as you see there I used a piece of uh, wire on a piece of uh, paper and a piece of uh, paper there I wrote on but yeah, I just kind of wanted to show uh, show this off a little bit. Now along the sides I got it just painted black. And instead of making it smooth, I thought, huh, leave it like that. Because it just looks like it's uh, concrete or whatever. This side's a lot smoother as you see here. So yeah, that's, that's what I got there. I took this to the show and they liked it quite a bit. So, again, this is the kit here. Let's see if I can uh, come up with... Let's see. Come up with a kit number for you. Okay, right here it says... Number 19, I guess. Or right there. 1800. 11684. Maybe that's what you need. There's a barcode there if you need it. But yeah, it was a pretty pretty good, easy, fun kit. Really wasn't nothing to it. Uh, let me know, guys, in the comments what you think of this little diorama. Um, I have a few other dioramas to show you guys you might like, so stay tuned. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.